morning, guys. It's Matt Lemke here with Through Gamer Goggles, gamer-goggles.com. Today we have another figure forge for you, and I guess in a way it's a box breaking too, because this is the Nemesis PHR Command. Uh, I have never opened this, and you know, oh, huh, look at that. I thought it was sealed. I was gonna have to cut it open. It, it looked sealed. Now I know I have had their, their, you know, done stuff with their minis before, and uh, I never experienced one that I thought was sealed, but this looked sealed to me. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to see if this needs any cleaning up. Uh, this is the first time I've ever opened it to look at it. I have no instructions on how to put it together. Uh, there's, As usual, you can see that there is little to no cleaning. Anyway, uh, maybe I should look at something here. Oh, what's this? There is a little bit of piece to clean there. Not much, though. Maybe another little piece here. Now, okay. I suppose that I could maybe use magnets on this guy. Uh, but I'm not going to take the time to figure that out right now. If I ever want to do magnets with my drop zone command stuff, I will do that with multiples. Uh, I will buy extras. Uh, because, well, a lot of the stuff that I use here, I use as demo kit pieces and stuff of that nature. Uh... So we're going to clean this up. Like I said, we're going to clean it up and we're going to put it together. Uh, this is... Actually, I'm, maybe I will stop a little bit because there's a little bit of cleaning here. No, oh, not there. Ta-da! So now let's try and figure this thing out without mucking it up. Uh, is there a picture? Well, I don't even have a picture. So... Clearly the legs go in there, right? So you're going to have these legs like this into the feet, right? They all look like they're the same size. I'm going to slide. We're going we're to start assembling this thing. This is how I do this all the time. I'm not totally sure where that goes yet. So those are the legs for that part. Whoa, look at that piece to clean up. Hopefully I don't take too much off. Do I, have any, I don't have any sandpaper. Something tells me that I don't want to fully assemble this today because I'm pretty sure, even if I do use this for demos, that I want, so that goes like that. Okay, I'm, I'm almost certain, well... Today, it is just a figure forge, so it's going to be just that. Um, well, that's pretty tight. I'm actually going to... Man, that's really tight. Uh, that's so tight that... Uh, there. I think I'm just going to put that in there like that. I'm going to call that a day. Uh, this piece here needs to come off. Maybe a little too much there. And that piece clearly goes like that. And so far I haven't used any glue. And we're not going to use glue because I suspect that you're allowed to move this around like this and stuff. Um, and this piece goes here, which I suspect allows you... 
to go up and down with it like a scorpion's tail. So I'm not going to glue that either because, there's the crazy logic, um, I will most likely use magnets on this. There is a little piece in there to clean up though. Not much. Um, and as you can see too, uh, it has the uh, it has a little bit there where it can come down and stuff. And but I suspect you can. You're allowed to elevate it. So I'm not going to glue the tail on, and I'm not going to glue this part on uh, until I make some decisions as to what I'm going to do with it. I will most likely. So the, that is considered done for for the uh, for the figure forge, uh, and then I'm not sure what the best way to do this is going to be. We're going to play with it. I'm going to try and do some crazy things. Where is my my glue? Uh, I am going to. So I'll probably put this on a base now uh, because I'm playing with it. And I'm going to glue that in there. I'm going to try and do... I know this is crazy, right? I'm going to try and do some like um, walking walking madness because it's, it's all ball joints so you can, you can play around with it and move it around quite a bit, which I'll show you here in a second. I'll zoom in and I'll show you on one of the legs. Uh, I'm going to let that set just like that. I'm going to move these off to the side, and we're going to take this ball joint here, um, and we're going to play around with it. Like, you have a lot of room for playing. Where's my camera? You have a lot of room. Oh, I just... I wanted all the... I'm not sure that matters because it's a ball joint. We're going to do that, though. We're going to make sure that all the points line up together um, like that or close to it. Or close to it. Now, what I was trying to say before is because it's a ball joint, you have a lot of room for your motion to make things work. You can... So you can do like that and make him look like he's sp springing forward a little bit. You can just uh, you can have one back like like this, hunched down. You can have him angled up a little bit. You can have him low to the ground like that, which actually kind of makes it a little difficult to to glue, uh, but. We're gonna we're gonna mess with it a little bit, and uh, I'm gonna put this one on the back now. Or, yeah, we're gonna put this on the back. We're gonna we're gonna play with it and try and get it at different heights, so that I can I can do some uh, crazy stuff. And actually, I think the next one I'm gonna do is the front, so that I have. Or should I do the other side? I'm going to do the other side first, which will determine the height I can get it to, which is going to be like, I'm going to create a painting nightmare is what I'm going to do, like that. Where do I want the leg? We're going to do that. And we're going to make everything else fit it. So, 
I'm going to start by putting some glue in there. Maybe. And then we're going to push this. Come on. And we have to hold it here. Oh, that's already set. So we're going to have to deal with it that way. Now I'm going to put some glue in here. And I want to leave enough space in there so that I can paint. Which, by the way, I've actually started using a Liquitex or Gesso, which is basically a real thick almost putty for my priming um, that is used for canvases by artists. Now I'm going to make everything else fit it, I hope. Let's see how bad I may have made a boo-boo. So now I'm going to go and... No, I didn't check. Now they're all the same, so we are going to go to this side next, I think, here in the middle. Yep, we're going to go to the middle next. Uh, apparently he just got rocked. I mean, he got he got hit hard, right? Um, I love the dynamics and the story that you can come with with models that are fully posable, uh, which makes these guys so cool. Uh, da, da, da. Now, the hard part is going to be getting. It's actually not so bad. I'm actually going to go right ahead and glue it because it's going together pretty amazing. Uh, I was expecting some difficulties with making this model so poseable, but man, this is awesome. I'm really unhappy that I did that, uh, but you cannot win them all. Now I'm gonna go to the front. Are these different sizes? <gasps> oh my gosh, I didn't realize that. They look like they're different sizes. I didn't pay enough attention. Uh, wait a minute. Those are all the same. So I guess I'm wrong. put this oh you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have one leg up in the air so we're gonna do this and we're going to we're gonna do this like he's walking we're gonna point point his foot down like his toe came off the ground and it's in the process of getting ready to be put down or maybe, do I want to do that there, like that? Or do I want to have it coming, I want to have it coming down. I think it's more dynamic. So we're going to do that. And we're going to put that leg on last. Um, maybe this back leg, because it's so low to the ground. Let's see what I, what I can do back here. Let's see here. It's right there. Move that one out of the way. Move that out of the way. It's right there. So what can we do? Let's 
to make it look playful. We're going to do that. Or something like that. Do I want to do that? I want to show a little bit more dynamics with it. The problem is it's so low to the ground that it's a little difficult. We're going to do, we're going to glue this in first. And we're going to go from there. So, we're going to be a little crazy. Oh, wait, that's what this whole video has been, right? I'm having fun. Uh-oh. Apparently, I'm having too much fun. If you move it around too much, you're going to mess it up, which I just did. So I just learned something. If you want to set your pose, did I just? If you want to set your pose, maybe start with the middle two legs, let them set, and then work around it. That one's going to give me a hard time drying. This one's going to probably give me a hard time drying here in a minute. Let it dry. I forgot to look and see where these pieces might go. Silly me. I'll have to figure that out in a minute. Let that set for a second and I'll be right back. Okay. Now I'm going to put the... Uh, and that lady's really giving me a hard time. I may have to re-glue it after the fact. I'm going to put the front leg on and hold it. Ah, oh, shoot. Too much glue. Coming down like it's stomping on something. See, that piece is set already. I don't know why that piece is not setting. Maybe I'll just take some of the glue off. Sorry about my big arm. And we'll see if that helps. Does not help. We're going to come back to that piece. I got it to set, but that screws everything up, being set in there that way. I must not have a tight enough fit for it. So, in order to make that work, I probably need to epoxy it.
or hold this until it dries completely. So we're going to pull that out and we're going to do what I want to do with this leg which is which is I don't know yet. Can't leave me alone. I'm trying to work. Which is going to be something like that. Now we have to wait for it to set a little bit. I'm going to try this again while this is all doing this. So if I just... If I leave this to dry like this, I'll have to come back and do the guns, which kind of saddens me. This took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but man, did I have fun with it. Shouldn't have moved the leg. There's nothing holding this. It's going to be hard to paint as a result. So I gotta figure it out. I know what to do now. So I want the you want this to stay tight, this joint. I've got a ton of glue in there now, but as I push it down, I have to push it into the joint to make it set. Alright. I'm being impatient. Let's see, wait, where's the front? That's the front. So now I want the guns go in here like this. We're going to do them both, or kind of do them both, and then we'll go back and I'll set the leg and I'll just let it dry. Uh, because, oh man, because, well, impatience is not a virtue. As soon as it sets to something other than my skin, I can release it. And now, without breaking things off, let's see if I can get this leg to work. Now, I am going, well, I'm going to zoom out, 
And for effect, I'm going to gently put this on here, I hope. And that'll pretty much be the finished model. I need to fix this now, though, again. And, well, that's, whoops, without moving it anymore. That's the figure forge for the PHR Nemesis uh, command variant of the walker, which I thought I actually had. Oh, there it is. Uh, the command walker. I was going to put it away, but I forgot I, I tore the package up. Uh, so there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Matt Lepke with Through Gamer Goggles, gamer-goggles.com. Uh, check back soon for another Figure Fortune.